Graham of Mayo. What's up, guys? This is Graham of Mayo, and I'm welcoming you back to Season 1, Episode 2 today. And what we're going to do today is we're going to turn this thatch house into wood and hopefully level up a lot from that because I need to get a saddle for this bad mamma jamma right here. The trike, which I tamed last episode if you guys haven't seen it. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go and make a bunch of wood foundations and hopefully level up and I'll be back then. See guys, let me explain something to you. This is what happens when you don't pay attention to your food or your dehydration. I am now currently knocked out. Okay guys, here we are. I leveled up to level 20. I spent about an hour crafting my hut and all that. And I've got some bad news. Precious was killed in the line of duty by an Argentavis. So we are going to tame this sucker right here. And it's another female, so we can also name this one Precious also. We'll just name her Precious Jr. So I'm going to move my Trank Arrows over into the bow. And let's actually switch the bows here. Just to make sure. Alright, here we go. Hopefully this thing don't stay stuck inside of this tree. I'm gonna wait a few seconds in between shots, that way it gets knocked out. And now I have the, tr the trike saddle, so... This will work perfectly, I can gather all my berries that I need now. I'm still really sad that Precious got killed. But she was defending my honor, so whatever works best. I mean, she she let me live is basically what it came down to. This one doesn't want to go down. I'm lucky that it's stuck like this. There we go. It's down. So I'm going to tame this and I'll be back when this is done taming. Alright guys, she's tamed and she's level 24 and we are ready to go. We gotta get a trike saddle on this, so... Alright guys, so what I'm doing now is I'm going around and killing dodos and collecting the hide off them. It's a lot easier. Uh, I figure since they're all, all along the... All along the bankment right here, I figure... I'll get hide pretty quick, so... I'll be back once I make the trike saddle. Finally, after an hour, I'm finally able to craft the trike saddle, which I now have on my creature. And I'm able to ride her. And this changes the whole fundamentals of the game, because it's so much easier now that you have something that can collect berries. So now I can go collect narco berries and make a lot of narco and rank up even faster. And we've actually got something attacking me. Oh, it's compies. So I'm gonna kill these compies real quick. I guess it's just one. That's what it looks like. So, I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do next, and I'll be back, and I'll let you guys know. Oh man, so I ran into some trouble. I got Dylos attacking me right now. I got a group of like five or six of these things. And I'm hoping my trike can handle them. This is insane. I've never had a, a group of Dylos attack me like this. Look at these things. I got that one over there. Yeah, it looks like I'm good, and this will give me a rank up, too. Yeah, it looks like Precious Jr. just... just pretty much showed that she's capable of handling herself. Right now, anyways, until, like, Raptors and Carnos and stuff come after me. But I think where I'm at right now is... I'm thinking pretty safe. I haven't seen any Carnos or Raptors as of yet. So here's a tour of the base and I'm going to show you guys what I'm working with so far. I'm currently in the stage of turning it over into stone. That way if I get attacked, uh, Giga is probably going to pretty much destroy the base. But anything other than a Giga really won't get in here except when they destroy the wooden foundation. Which I'm going to have to switch once I hit to the stone foundation. But uh, I want to show you guys that if you actually... See, I have 41 spoiled meat in here, and once you collect a trike and you throw all this narco berries in there and you make these narcotics, you will level up insanely fast. Watch this. And I'm level 21 right now, and I'll show you how fast you get XP from this. See, just from one, you get that chunk of um, XP off of it. So, I'll pretty much gain another level, maybe two levels off this, if I'm lucky. But you can make a, you can actually go through and kill a lot of Dilos and Dodos and uh, Parasaurs and get a lot of spoiled meat. 
or uh, raw meat itself and turn it into spoiled meat. See, I have a bunch of raw meat right here. And all you have to do is you go over here to this raw meat and you hold your control key. And I'm not sure what it would be on Xbox. But if you hold your control key and you just drag it like this, it splits it. And it creates a split with all the meat. And that'll uh, produce spoiled meat a lot quicker. See, as I do it like this, and I can do this pretty fast. I've been playing since I first, since this first came out. And once this is all done, it spoils in 10 minutes. So in 10 minutes, I'll have like 40 something meat in my inventory that's all spoiled. And as you can see, I'm ranking up pretty fast doing this. All right, guys, here we are. We finally made it to the smithy. Now I can make some metal tools, a metal hatchet and a metal pick. So I'm going to build that and I'll be back. All right, guys, this is where you reach a milestone in the game. You've got your uh, forge and your smithy here, and you're ready to start cranking out the metal tools and see the spot where I built right here. You can actually go up this way up towards the mountain, and there's little me there's little metal rocks there. So I did that. I beat on some rocks, and I got some metal out of it, so now I got some metal ingot. And now we're just going to learn the metal hatchet and the metal pick, and uh, we should be good to go. We should start cranking out supplies real easily now. Uh, what else do I need for all this? You're gonna need a good bit of, of uh, hide and metal ingot and all that, but stuff should start coming a lot easier now. Uh, let's see if we can make any of this. I need wood, so I put wood in here. I actually have to go grab some wood, but that's pretty much once you hit here, once you get the smithy and the forge, you're pretty much you're pretty much golden to get whatever. Because it's see, as you can tell, there's uh, metal rocks up here, right over here, and they're all along um, mountain sides and stuff, so. Once I get this metal pick, I can pretty much get all this metal right here. And I'm just to show you guys how much of a difference this metal pick makes, I'm gonna go up and hit it now. I was only getting one every like six or seven swings off of it, but now I should start getting boatloads of metal. See, I'm getting a good bit of metal now. I'm up to seven. And as long as you keep staying here and hitting these things and grabbing as much metal as you can, you're gonna be able to make a lot of tools and you'll be good to go. Alright guys, I'm going to let this metal burn down, and I'm going to call it quits for the end of the day. Um, so basically what my next episode is going to be on episode 3, we are going to go to the snow biome, and we're going to get us some pelt and make some fire armor. So let me know in the comments below what I should tame to get to the snow biome and get us some pelt. And uh, yeah, so throw some names down below and i hope you guys have a good evening day afternoon and like subscribe and comment and i'll see you guys later